Today, my administration uh, is announcing new actions to lower the cost of everyday living for American families, to put more money in the pockets of middle-income and working-class Americans, to hold big corporations accountable. And these steps will immediately start saving Americans collectively billions of dollars in unfair fees. And I'm here with the director of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, Mr. Chopra, as well as the chair of the Federal Trade Commission, Lena Khan. And we're remembering uh, we're, they're, they're members of the Competition Council that I created last year to promote competition across the economy and lower costs for families. One of the key things I've asked the council to take on was the unfair hidden fees, known as junk fees, that are taking real money, real money out of your pockets, real money out of the pockets of American families. First, imagine this. Your child outgrows his bicycle, and you decide to sell it online. And someone pays you a check, pays you 30 bucks for the bicycle or something. Days later, that check that you got paid with, that you deposited in your bank, it bounces. You didn't know it was bad, but you get charged 15 bucks. You get charged 15 bucks. It's wrong. It's ridiculous. It's unfair. My administration is making clear today it's illegal as well. Second, my administration is also making clear surprise overdraft fees are illegal. Listen to how those fees work. And some of you, you all know this, I mean, because you know from your everyday lives. But you pay a bill and uh, you double check your bank account to make sure before you write the check that you have enough in your account to cover it. You've gotten the money, so you go ahead and you pay. Then it turns out your balance wasn't up to date because your bank was slow in processing other charges. And by the time the bank gets around to setting the, settling the transaction, you've overdrawn your account. You're charged an overdraft fee that runs around $35 each time. It's not your fault. The bank screwed up. You didn't. The bank did. You had a positive balance when you paid the bill? It's just simply wrong. And today, my administration is making clear it's also illegal. Today's actions are going to save consumers more than $1 billion each year. And that's a lot of money back in people's pockets. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.